lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. So it looks like Fredo Bang is definitely still heartbroken over our girl Neek. Early this morning, he decided to tweet and he said, this broken heart then got the best of me. Now we all know once Neek moved on into her now relationship with Dwayne Bacon, it seems like her ex or her ex little fling, Fredo Bang, definitely felt some type of way. Three weeks ago, he decided to drop a music video and a song onto his YouTube channel. And the song is called Fool for Love and in parentheses he put by Neek. Now he put by Neek basically because he knows he can't have her anymore because she is in this new relationship. Now we all know before Neek got into this relationship, before Fredo Bang went to jail, Fredo Bang and Neek, they had this type of situationship relationship going on. I mean, these two didn't really admit to social media that they were in a relationship, but come on, we seen the pictures in the videos. We knew that these two definitely had something going on and either before Fredo Bang went to jail or while he was in jail they decided to end things and cut things completely off. Neek even made a video basically admitting and saying that she is single. She's not with anybody. Nobody has shown her that she needs to be serious with anyone and to Fredo Bang's surprise once he got out of jail Neek was in this new relationship with Dwayne Bacon. Now it Bacon. seems like Fredo Bang is still very much heartbroken but he is still trying to heal from the situation and I guess trying to get over Neek. But let's get into the situation, my thoughts and opinions. Now, I feel like Fredo Bang definitely had a lot of love for Neek, obviously. Now, do I feel like he was in love with her? Probably not, but he had a lot of love for her, probably more love for her than he has ever had for a female. I honestly also feel like once Fredo Bang went to jail, he knew that him and Neek was beefing. They probably weren't on good terms. But he probably thought that they were going to get back together. They were going to be cool. Once he got out, he would make everything right. Like, oh, we argue and fight all the time. You know, once I get out, I'll make things right with her a little later. But come to his surprise, once he gets out, she is in this new relationship. And I think that shocked him and then left him heartbroken. We seen as soon as he got out, he went to Twitter and he started to like Neek's pictures with her new boyfriend. And then he decides to drop this song. Now let's get into the lyrics of this song because this is one of the main big reasons why I feel like Fredo Bang, it's gonna take a while for him to get over Neek. This is probably why he's still heartbroken, right? Because in his lyrics, he said, left my kids and you, you got me feeling like a father too. And in this song, Fool for Love, I mean, he puts by Neek because he's talking about him in Neek's relationship. He's basically saying goodbye to her. And he's basically telling a story of everything that they went through. So he's seemingly allegedly saying that, you know what I'm saying? They were supposed to be expecting a child together. Now we know that Neek's mom actually admitted this in a video as well. And this is why I believe this to be true. <laughs> she said um, she was pregnant and then a couple months later she got pregnant for real. So, my mama step up. Mom. <laughs> so, Neek's mom seemingly exposes her saying that at first she thought she was pregnant. Then she actually ended up pregnant a couple of months later. Then her mom out of nowhere starts to sing Fredo Bang's song, insinuating that Fredo Bang is the baby father. Neek, she tries to stop her mom. Then she just ends up laughing. So obviously, with Fredo Bang's lyrics, with Neek's mom saying this, obviously these two were supposed to be expecting a child. Now, no one completely knows what happened with that situation, but I believe it was probably Fredo Bang's first time experiencing anything like that with a woman. So of course, I can believe that it is going to take him some time to heal and get over this heartbreak. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments section below. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions about this. Maybe you know something I don't know. Let me know. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to Chloe Bailey and Gunna. Now, we know for the last couple of weeks, probably a month now, Chloe and Gunna have been seen together in a couple of places, and rumors and speculation started to go around that maybe these two might be dating. Now, once Gunna was asked, was he dating Chloe at an interview at the VMAs? He said, no, they're just two good friends and they were working on something. They had a song coming out 
And then recently the song did come out. It was called Me and You. Very, very cute song. But recently these two were spotted out once again, even after the song released. Now, I'm not going to lie. Once I seen Chloe Bailey and Gunna walking out from another basketball game and they were actually holding hands, I honestly believe that they were just pulling a publicity stunt to get more promo for Gunna's new album and for the song that they released. But like I said, there has been some recent pictures that have came out and these two almost look like they were about to kiss in these pictures. So now it's definitely a little more believable that these two actually have something going on. And plus, Gunna recently did an interview with The Breakfast Club where they, of course, asked him about his relationship with Chloe Bailey. He then goes on to admit that him and Chloe Bailey are just close friends. Very good close friends but he does admit and say that he is just not ready to settle down and have a serious relationship right now in his life Charlemagne and Angela Yee then tell him that he doesn't want to have a phenomenal woman like Chloe waiting then child gonna he goes on to say why not Angela Yee she then flips the question and she's like what if Chloe Bailey was to date someone else Gunna, he's like, oh, that wouldn't be P of her. And I'm like, ciao, let's just stop completely with the double standards. In my opinion, honestly, I don't feel like anyone should be waiting for anyone. You know right then and there when that person is the one, you don't want to lose them, that you want to, you know, hop into that relationship right away. Maybe you might take some time to get to know the person, but it just doesn't take that long. You don't want to keep someone waiting for too long and waste their time and maybe you even move on to someone else but I definitely want to know you guys' opinion about this because I've seen it both ways I've seen where you know some relationships work out a woman will wait for a man to get serious or maybe even a man will wait for a woman to get serious and then I see some people say look do not waste your time your time is valuable don't wait on anyone. Y'all let me know. Have y'all been through that type of situation where you or someone else waited for someone? I'm definitely interested in knowing did it work out or it didn't work out. Let me know. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into our girl Asian doll. She's definitely in some more mess. Now, it looks like last night she was hanging out with a group of friends, including Fabio and his girlfriend. It seems like they all might have been having a little too much fun at the bowling alley. And I believe that Fabio Fabio slipped up and said something to Asian Doll that she decided to post onto her Twitter. She posted last night at 9.36 and said, I had my ski mask on at the bowling alley. Fabio gonna say, take that ish off and show that pretty face. We want to see that ish. Now, of course, with Fabio, like I said, having a girlfriend, of course, he wanted to clear this up very fast. He decided to retweet Asian Doll and he was like, what the F? What type of a lie is that? She the homie for sure, but I got a girl. You know I ain't moving like that. Now, after this and after Fabio responded, people were laughing at Asian Doll, basically feeling like she is embarrassing herself. Now, we remember the situation that happened with Antonio Brown. He went on the podcast and then said that, you know, he didn't even know who Asian Doll was, which People felt like that was embarrassing for her, but they feel like now, look, here is another embarrassing situation that you are in. One person replied to her and Fabio and said, LOL, how embarrassing. Asian Doll, she retweeted it and she said, the way I'm not embarrassed is so crazy. Then someone else said, it's time you get a social media manager or PR team, sister. And then she retweeted this and she said, I'm just a viral B. Now, basically, Asian Doll is claiming that she is not embarrassed by this at all she went on instagram live to clear her name as well and she said that fabio actually did say this regardless of him going to twitter and saying that she is lying she feels like he was just very high at the moment and he just doesn't remember what happened but he actually did say it but she said that she's not even worried about the situation she wasn't trying to offend his girlfriend or anything like that she was looking at his comment in a friendly way now in my opinion honestly i just feel like 
Asian Doll probably should have kept that off of Twitter. I almost feel like Asian Doll, she tweets too much and it's almost to a fault where she's actually getting herself in trouble at this point. And I think that's why the person said that you need to get a social media manager because maybe she is tweeting just a little too much about her personal life. I mean, maybe Fabio really did say this, but what was the point of posting it to Twitter. I mean, we all know that you are very pretty and very gorgeous. It's almost like she just wanted people to know that Fabio thinks that she is pretty. So I do feel like she made a mistake in the situation, especially with knowing that Fabio has a girlfriend, but most likely she was just very much under the influence as well. And that's why she tweeted that. But you guys let me know what you think about these three situations in the comment section below. Once again, my lovely, lovely TTs, thank you for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload and of course i'll see you in my next video